Those weird times where, like, you know who the mob boss is, and he's wearing a nice suit, and he's walking around in front of everybody. Like, it's weird. Fuck? It's really weird to be a mob celebrity. Yeah. And that, then people take, like, a, like if he was around now, you'd be like, selfie. But you know what it's like? It's like you're in a race, but your car's not quite strong enough to do that. And then the federal government shuts the race down. Yeah. Whereas if you're in Mexico, you can actually do that. You're yeah. in Mexico and you're a cartel leader. You are a cartel. You're the guy. Leader. You like that's legit. No one's putting you in jail. But it's weird Shut to be the, able to do that in New York. Uh, yeah, very weird. But it was also a different time, right? You know, it was a we glamorize that shit that we all do. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, because mob movies are the best movies. I mean, like you got Godfather, Goodfellas. You Sopranos, got Sopranos, one of the best shows of all time. Probably my number one. Honestly. God, it's good. God damn, it's good. I, I rewatched an episode the other day. I'm like, God. It's so, it might be. One of the funniest shows ever, too. That's how good it is. <laughs> it's it's fucking. Show. There's a, there's a line in that show where like uh, you know Meadows being a spoiled brat, and they're like, "We're gonna ground you. You can't do this." And she she just runs away. And, and Carmela's like, "What are they gonna? What, what do we do when we realize that we have no power?" <laughs> it's like such an honest, <laughs> yeah. funny line. I mean, Tony, fuck, and Gandolfini. We were like robbed of so many more fucking best. He was so good. He became that guy. Like yeah. he did a lot of different characters in different movies, and he was really good at being a creep. Wasn't he in what was that? True Romance. True Romance. Yeah, so scary. That's that right. Holy shit. That movie holds up, by the way. I just oh watched God. it again recently. It's fucking great. Dennis God Hopper, damn. dude, and Walken. That scene is fucking insane. Oh my God. That's some. That's some classic Tarantino '90s dialogue right there. That's oh some my good God. shit. True romance. This is one of the more violent scenes I've ever yeah. seen in a movie. I got this in Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> yeah, let's not watch it. But dude, he's in like Get Shorty. Yep. He's in yeah. so many fucking movies. But when he became Tony Soprano, he like was that guy. Yeah. It's like to have a an actor that good playing a mob boss to the point where you are sympathetic. You're rooting for this murderer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're rooting for Tony Soprano. They humanized him. I mean, yeah. when you show him at like a cookout, yeah. you're like, I go to cookouts. Yeah. You know, I do. I mean, they made him human. And he was just following the rules of his game. That's the game that he did. And they he was the best have, at it. They didn't have high, high enough horsepower. But again, if he was El Chapo... I guess they got him too, but we and got his, him and his wife too, right? Who got who? Like who took over? Like that guy doesn't have a name. I don't That's know. a good move. <laughs> if you're going to be a cartel guy, <laughs> tell yeah, everybody. Reservation tonight like, for the cartel guy. You don't know his you name. You want to be John Doe? Yeah. And you, you want everybody to shut the fuck up. You don't want anybody. You're you're running a cartel, sir. But, but they would remind you that he was a monster every once in a while. Like I mean, yeah. he kills his fucking own guy. He's he's a monster. Who killed their own guy? Tony kills uh, oh, yeah. Christopher. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they'd hit That's you with right. reminders, everyone. I mean, the show was so no, fun that they'd have to hit you with, like, the brutal reminders of, you know, Phil Leotardo sodomizing a, a gay character. It's like they'd have, oh, yeah. they'd have to hit you with that because you'd be like, oh, this is funny. And then they, you hit that, you'd be like, Jesus. Yeah. There was a lot of Jesus moments in that show. What's really funny is if you watch the first episode of the show, it was almost like satire. Yeah. The, the, did you ever, you ever watch Incredible it? pilot. It was very funny, though. It was like yeah. like a comedy. Yeah. Like the the way the car chase thing. When or? she's got the machine gun and like because there's she was outside with the machine gun. She I think she thought her kid was sneaking out of the house. Or was something that like Carmela? That. Yeah. Yes. Right. Remember? Yeah. Yeah. Something happened and she was outside with an AK forty seven. You're like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah. What is this show? It yeah. Just, but she became much more like normal. Yeah. Like she, she wasn't like that. Like it was almost like they were doing like a network sitcomy version of mobsters. They went, yeah. It, it was cool to see the show grow, but damn, it's like yeah. the first season even goes. It's like him versus mm -hmm. his uncle, Uncle Junior. I mean, that was a fucking great storyline. Great storyline. There's so many great storylines. I mean, it's just a fucking phenomenal show, man. Yeah, phenomenal. David show. Chase. I mean, he he created. I think he used to write for like Rockford Files too. It's like interesting Everything career about that show. Even that whole opening montage yeah. with the sound. The woke up this morning, got so yourself good. a gun. Yeah. Fuck. It was like you got so pumped for every episode. Yeah. I knew Sopranos is on. So it, exciting. It's tough. That, that was like. There's so many great shows. It's tough to touch. You know. I mean, that was really like a golden age in TV. 
It the really way was. like the 60s, 70s was a golden age in Hollywood, you know, where like yeah. you get like all those fucking old movies of like, uh, you know, Bonnie and Clyde starting this off, The Graduate, Chinatown, Godfather, Taxi Driver, like all these insane apocalypse now, you know? Yeah. Comedy movies took the biggest hit. Recently, man. <laughs> we took the biggest <sighs> Isn't hit. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> I, it, Everybody I, loves them, but now you have to rewatch old ones so people don't get offended. I think it'll come back at some point. Because I was watching The Hangover on TV the other day, and I was like, people are going to be hungry for this shit. Well, what's hilarious is the Daily Wire tried to do something, right? Yeah. They did something, right? They made a movie, right? <clears throat> they made a movie about transgender athletes mm -hmm. and a bunch of men who decide they're going to compete as women. And then after that, there's a new thing that's been happening in Canada where they've got this, this, these two teams are playing against each other and there's five biological males that are identifying as females and dominating this volleyball game. <laughs> and the biological females, all of them are sitting on deck Why these five men. They don't know why they're riding the bench. Are crushing it. Yeah. There's five of them. Yeah. Like, this is in Canada. Like, that is so insane. You know, the thing is about those movies, I didn't, see, I saw the trailer for the Daily Wire thing. I didn't see it. But the thing about those movies is, and I didn't see this one, you got to remember if you're going that irreverent to have the heart of like a Fairly Brothers movie. Right. Because, like, something about Mary is a great movie because, like, you forget he's stalking this woman because he's so likable. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's stalking Mary. He right. hires a guy to stalk her. But in the first scene, she's got a mentally challenged brother and he gets his ass kicked present, uh, protecting her. And you're like, he's a good guy. So I think go for the fucking juggler, but make sure that you love the characters. Yeah. And also, there's not a lot of really good. Like, how many people are really good at making those kind of movies? You know, there's a few people that like. Well, Todd excel. Phillips went to serious movies, right? You know, so he was like one of the last ones making like big hits. But if you if that genre dries up, like that used to be a giant genre, like it bums me out, dude. I love comedy movies, but you're right. Like, what do I watch? I watch fucking Back to School. I watch like <laughs> right, yeah. Have you seen Back to School recently? <laughs> I haven't, dude. It's <sighs> every line, every character there is just there to set up Dangerfield. You know, what my favorite part is <laughs> the Kinnison scene, dude. <laughs> It's one of the best scenes. <laughs> Dude, ever. pull that up. Pull that up. Where he just fucking. Rodney? Kenneth and Roddy Dangerfield in the classroom. This is fucking amazing. Tony, you started from the beginning. You know, a lot of people think. Welcome. <laughs> really seems to care. <laughs> about, about what? what? I have no what? idea. <laughs> <laughs>